All right, there she is. Look at her. Look at her go. Look at the lovely. It looks like she's maybe mid yawn. The lovely Joe Frost here. What's up, Jennifer? Two five four nine. Thank you for the first time chat. I appreciate you very much. Divine just made some food. Let's go. Appreciate you being in here. Good timing. We're watching Super Nanny, Jennifer. We're starting it right now. Well, I'm here in sunny San Dimas, California, and I better take a look and see what. What's up, Maya? How are you? Now. Hi, we're the Browning family. I'm Bernadette. I'm Charles. All right, yeah. Charles is 58, Bernadette 43. Wow, pretty big age gap there. It's what, 15 years? Quick math. They looked a little different age wise, but you know, whatever. Have six kids Eric, who is 17. <coughs> okay. Devante, who is 14. Oh, Devante. What the heck? Brett is 10. Brett? Joseph is eight years old. Charlotte is two. Oh, they made a lot of kids. Oh, Catalina, boy. Who's 20 years old. How many kids? College. Oh boy, this is going to be a, this is going to be nuts. Five kids, that's a full house. I'm a real estate agent. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh, hello. Bernadette is on the phone literally from sun up to sundown. Oh, my mom, hold on. Let me just see what she wants. I'm not Yeah, everything else okay over there? My vocation is I'm a minister. Yeah, see, thank you for the 16 months. It means Whoa. Okay. Bernadette, her uh, annual income is is considerably more than mine, and so she feels that because she makes most of the money, oh, that she's she the breadwinner. Chat. Most of the decisions, even though she may call. Right, we'll highlight something here, money. a positive that I see already with this family. Okay. A real fruit bowl stocked with real fruit, not fake fruit. You could tell that is real, genuine fruit, and we love to see it. We do not like the fake fruit balls with the wax. That she should be able to make most of the decisions. Even though she may call herself the breadwinner, a man does not live by bread alone. Uh oh. Who pays the mortgage here? Who pays the mortgage here? Seems to me there's a lot of anger underneath this relationship. And I try to raise my children. It's a nice house. Of the Bible, but they always say the preacher kids are the worst. Let me hear what you just said about my kids. <laughs> She's like, what What are you talking about? My kids are troublemakers in the background, literally smacking each other on the back. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you know, I think that the guy on the phone might be telling the truth there on the Blackberry. Look at the Blackberry. What do you say about my kids? They're not bad kids. <laughs> literally smacking. He put his shirt over his head chat and is smacking his bare back while she is in the other room. Oh my goodness. Go church member talking about our kids. Uh oh. Uh, he said, Eric I don't and care. Devante are my kids uh, from a previous relationship. I would like to have bonded a lot closer with Eric and Devante. So wrong with the sink. Oh boy. <laughs> that was supposed to be funny, right? So funny, I forgot to laugh. The number one thing about Eric is he's very selfish. He doesn't take anything seriously Bam. and doesn't listen. Hello? Oh, Excuse me? Eric, I'm talking to you. Devante, same thing. <laughs> Stop. Uh-oh. Device, what's with the name Devante, man? Devante always talking about eating ass. <laughs> Go with the family woman. Help him. <laughs> they all just don't listen and don't respect me. So stupid. If you weren't so dis disrespectful, I'd let you go. Super Nanny, I what? really need your help. I'm at my Their secret end, and I'm pleading for you to come help me to get my kids under control. Super, Super Nanny, Nanny, please, please come, come help, help our, our family. family. This might be a tough one, man. Well, yeah, this, the parents are giving me toxic vibes for sure. I, I'm not, I don't know. You better hold on. This one seems like this. This might get a little rough. Where are they at? Colorado? Nope, California somewhere. Here. Nice house, though, Chad. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Very well. I love her. Hello. I need to. I need. A, I need a uh, sound alert of that. What's up, Taylor? What a proper hello it is. Hello. 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 Wonderful. Hello. How are you doing? Very well. Pleased to meet you, Joe nice. Frost. Nice to meet you, Joe Frost. Come in. Thank you. When I first arrived to say hello to this family, hello. I was greeted by Charles, who was very smiley and pleased to see me. So, 
Your wife, is she in? Yes, she is. Great, I'd love to meet the family then as okay, well. Okay, when wife is upstairs, I'll okay. have Uh-oh. Uh-oh, wife's creeping. Hello? What's up, Ray Ray? We need help. Bernadette oh. stayed on the stairs for quite a long time, which I thought was rather rude, to be honest with you. Uh-oh. She asked for my help, and I'd come, and she was kind of just standing there sussing me out rather than saying hello to me. She'd say sussing me out? Was that Has that been a phrase, or did Joe Frost invent the word sus? Me and invited me to be in her home. Love to... Love to meet up with everybody. My first impression uh, was, is this a nanny? Oh boy. She reminded me of like a third grade teacher. Okay. What the hell's going Bernadette? What the hell? She just came in. This ain't, this ain't gonna go well. Let's go, Taylor. I love it. Eight compliments is fire. Let's go. That makes me feel good. Thank you. Gang. Bernadette. We, the for well, a second. This is a weird intro. Everybody's so off here. Or not, as the case may be, as they were very busy playing with the video games. I just hope they're not too rude. They normally are then? Yes, they're normally rude. <laughs> uh, there's no doubt that this family love technology, but it's really stopping them from spending time together and talking to them. On the PS3, another. PS2. You've been playing since you woke up this morning. You've been playing for four hours. Okay. Like a lot of mums. Bernadette really balances between being this is, this is awkward and also being a house mum. But she seemed to have that cell phone glued to her ear. Shh, be quiet, I gotta use the phone. Hey, did you call me? My phone is dying. I can't let my phone die. And oh, boy. Sandy, I'm thinking maybe Bernadette might be one of the main causes of uh, concern here. And this is my cell phone. Take it everywhere I go. Where's my cell phone? Do you have my cell phone? The worst part about mum constantly speaking on her oh, cell boy. phone is that a youngest child, Charlotte, often gets ignored. Can you hold on a second, please? Okay, hold on. Take her down. Come on. This poor kid. You don't like me. Okay. Sorry about that. She said bye. Little Charlotte attached to me very quickly because I was giving her the attention that she Aww, made. Aw, poor Charlotte. I sat at the dining table and little Charlotte wanted to climb up onto my lap so that she could play with me. Oh, hello. Hello. And when Bernadette saw that, it certainly touched a raw nerve as she was trying to coax Charlotte to move away from me. I'm gonna go upstairs and watch TV. What? Hmm? Come on. Let's go watch TV. Tell me that. Tell me she's getting jealous of the super nanny who you called in your home and said, please desperately fix my family. And now she's fixing your family and you're doing this. What in the world? Tall glass of ice. Wow. Let me try that one again. Tall glass of iced matcha. Thank you for the two freaking months. I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. And, you know, although I do not like matcha, I know Sammy's a big supporter. And you know what? I'm a supporter too. Just not of drinking it, but I'm a supporter of it. Of the drink, the grass, the green and the grass and the <clears throat> All right. Come on then, down you get. You wanna go up and watch TV? Charlotte just looked at her and, and thought, I do telly every day. For hours. I don't wanna do telly. I'm having fun just being with somebody else. She'd rather sit in there with Super Nanny than go watch TV, so Oh boy. I don't know. This is ridiculous. I noticed that Bernadette Man, I'll tell you, this family, very annoying. I'll just come out and say it. Very annoying. Uh, it's very, that's, yeah. It was really coming down heavy on their kids most of the time. I'm just sick of you guys just yelling back and forth with each other. I'm thinking that this game is going to help you by keeping you quiet, keeping you out of my hair. That's not even working. After seeing mum yell at Brett, I wanted to take the time to talk to the two older boys to see if mum's behavior was quite typical. So, what's up with mum? She's mad. I've, I've never, I've like never, uh, I've never seen a band aid placed so, like that. That might be the first time in my entire life I've seen a vertical ear band aid. Ah, that must have been a weird cut. Getting a, getting a weird cut on the ear there. What's up with mum? She's mad. It's like a fashion there, statement. Like she's angry. She's always, angry. Angry. She's always angry. She's trying to make it seem like we're bad kids. We don't do anything we're supposed to do. We're just out and 
Nah, it's not even like that. And Charles, what, what's your relationship like with him? I mean, at the end of the day, he's not your dad, but I mean, he's your stepdad. I mean, he's raised you. I can care less. He's oh. put food in your belly, he's put a roof over your head. He's been there for you, right? Or not? <laughs> huh? Uh-oh. Huh? Uh, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. No, I want to yeah, hear. I, I want to hear. I think he's freeloading. Whoa. <laughs> he's true. He did say that mom's the breadwinner. Oh, whoa, whoa. We got some tea already here. Charles is reloading? Yikes. Yeah, they double laughed, which means they know the truth. Yeah, that's what I know not to be. So learn your lessons here and there. And you, you talk Damn. about you don't feel like he's got a job because what he's a preacher. Uh, no, nah, like that's a good job. Yeah. But I think that he I mean he could do that and he could do something yeah, else something like other else. people so do. Like... So how much are you on board with this experience of me being here and and changing situations? I'm fine yeah. with it. Uh -huh. I'm all the way. So you're hundred percent. They seem in. fine to me. Yeah, I know this is a fir I'm like rooting for the kids for sure versus the 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 mom and stepdad. All right, I want a handshake on that now. I feel like th right, they're definitely not the problem that. here. All right, listen, thanks for your chat, yeah? Seems pretty calm to me. Let's see, still a lot of time to figure some things After out. After speaking to Eric and Devante, I realized this family was all about the money. And I saw with my own eyes because a fight broke out over dinner time. What do you do all day, Charles? Uh -oh. Working uh -oh. all day long. So basically, you stay home all day, taking us places, and on a computer and watching the baby. When was the last time you took a trash can out? Oh Man. boy. When was the last time you picked up your away. socks and things? When was Katie. The last time you did anything? As I interrupt this awkward fight, thank you so much for the two months, 18 Katie one. I appreciate you very much. And without your mother complaining and you getting ready to fight over it. When? When? When was a when was the last time? Get out of here. Yeah. Uh -oh. Words got exchanged and a lot of feelings came out that that have been pinned up. Well, I know she pays all the bills around the house. Yeah, yeah. I know she does. Because she makes it. most of the money, right? Uh -oh. Uh oh. No, no, no. No, you guys want to do this? No, we're no. gonna do this. No. The way that we come. Communicate most of the time is yelling. Oh, that's I would good. Like to give you the, the way we communicate is yelling. Good, very good. To voice your opinion. That's the best way to do it, huh? He hasn't provided as a man she should provide for his family. And it still seems like he's freeloading off of her. There Damn. is some validity okay. to this. Patrick. Damn, doesn't the mom agreeing? <laughs> Not the mom immediately being like, you know what? You're right. He, you know what? <laughs> I did not expect that. Katie Griffin, how you doing? Now, look at Charles. He's like, he's literally saying, Come on, man. Ask one question here. As a family, is this what you want? Of course not. Absolutely not. Okay. This isn't healthy. I agree. It got really late, so I moved on to watch Mum put Charlotte to bed and see exactly how she did that. And I was shocked. Oh, boy. Charlotte is in their bed. Huh? She's got a can of spray cheese. Bro, they, 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 what? She's a toddler. What? They just plop her in a giant bed and what? And a bag of crackers. She is a literal baby. And hoping that the cheese would end up on the crackers. Stop right it. Oh, this is sad, bro. This baby just wants some love. Do, do you think this is appropriate for her to be watching? I really don't know what's on my house. Oh my god, is she watching crime videos too? Oh my god. There was a TV documentary about gang violence. I mean, are you kidding me? That's not what you want your toddler to be watching before they go off to bed. Oh no, she shouldn't be watching that. She oh, said, well, Jesus. I know. Make it your business to know. Wasn't paying attention. I'm speechless. Bro, the mom is... is... I don't want to judge so quick, but like, it seems super mean and just, I don't know. Damn. So she sleeps in this bed here. The mom does not, just, just even like, the, I don't know, just the can of open spray cheese on the bed and the crackers on the bed and the, even that's a little bit weird and disrespectful, kind of, with the, with Joe right no. there holding what her child. Do you have? I give her a bath, let her play. Do you read stories or anything like that? Occasionally. What books does she like? What's her favorite? Regular books, Jack and. But every every little one like has a favorite. She, she's books, she's right? calling out her shit right now. Two books. I don't think she has any favorites. Because she don't read. You don't really read much to her, do you? Mm -mm. 
Do you know how much she misses out on not having that interaction with you? Mm, I wouldn't say she's missing out. Huh? No, okay. No, because she's with me all day. Sit on the bed and I start to talk to mum. Oh boy. And I think she's realising that I'm putting two and two together. Would you say that you're quite defensive today with me? I feel that you're making me feel like um, I'm not doing an inadequate job, that I don't know what my kids' needs are, and I do know. But if you did know, I would. Oh, I'll tell you, it. one need your kid has uh, is like something in her bottle that you're not looking at that she's pointing to being empty okay and that's just base level that's textbook what my so maybe 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 start with that you know kids needs are she's literally tapping on it being like how about this motherfucker and i do know but if you did know i wouldn't be here would i yikes get her that's true i feel that i need help she knows that tomorrow she's gonna get called out okay okay i can't wait to speak to you tomorrow oh boy Oh my god, are they gonna brawl? I'm looking forward to it. God, not as much as I am. Oh no. I am so looking forward to speaking to you tomorrow. Oh my god, dude, I think Super Nanny wants to fight. Whoa, I think Joe wants to genuinely that's the most angst I've ever seen, and we have watched Joe get bitten and smacked in the face. Wow. Yeah, if Joe said that to me, I'm instantly crying. I'm gonna go take a nap, I'm gonna go order some pizza, and I'm gonna say, okay, you know what? I need a shield, I need the government. Because I'm scared of Joe. Mega for the day to end so I can sit Hold down my hoops. And really tell this woman about herself. Oh boy. I'm eager to sit down and talk to Charles. Oh gosh. About what he needs to do to step up. I'm eager to talk to them about. Oh them. my god, this is like a horror what film. What they need to do to change. They love the steps. Okay, hold on. We got her to say she's scared. That's good. I don't know. Felt like when she left. She's like, I. I I can't wait to see you tomorrow. I can't wait. Oh my God, this is the I'm most like, insane oh thing. Oh my gosh, like what's gonna happen? Just one more day of conflict. I don't think it'll be hurt us that much. We'll see. Damn, it's like doomsday here. Look at this. She shows up with a shotgun. She's like, all right, everybody in line now. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We got issues. Absolutely. Here we go. Okay, we lost the fruit bowl. We have a rock bowl, which is something that I'm not really used to, but I guess I would say I'm not against. I don't know. I guess it's like a bowl of rocks. That's fine, I guess. I want to talk about responsibilities and chores and exactly what these boys do. There's no doubt that these boys... That would be a good collab, artists. Zach. Just go to town so on the house and go to town on the family. They do not have the initiative to get up and feel that let me just do my bit around here i feel that there's very much a case of each and every one for their own they all have their own video games computers and televisions these kids stay on the computer all day they're on the video games all day who knows charles loves it who's looking after charlotte well she's just around the house and you're on the phone in your office and you're in your office Reading your scriptures. I may not be there 24 7, you know, sitting down and reading books or playing games with her, but I still feel that she is. You don't need to read books 24 7. How do you define the word. That's not what she meant. After. It's totally unacceptable it's that you feel negligence. it's okay for Charlotte to walk around and do as she please. It's not taking care of it in a way that allows her to grow. Charles. Let's just talk about you for a moment. Oh boy, here we the go. The job that you do is dedicated. That takes time for you to be able to preach. This music is scary. See you, Amanda. If the man who is giving those sermons is not recognizing the importance of his own responsibility as a man in the home. I want you to stand up and be proud of the work that you do and be proud of the work that you do as a father and not feel that you have to apologize for it. Bernadette. Damn, Joe going in. You. you talk with attitude. You're the big hustler on the phone. Busy, busy, busy. No, no, no. I just have a drive and that drive is to not end up in some little apartment that doesn't hold eight people. And if I had a balance... It's not about balance. You've got no respect. 
You've got no respect for anybody else. You live in your own bubble. You feel time Damn. would allow you to be respectful. Manners cost nothing. I can't change overnight. You'll only mm -hmm. change if it's a priority. You claim, I work so hard because I want them to have a roof over their head. I work so, what, you and, and how many? You and 50 other million parents that do the same. Well done. I'm not going to sit here and give you a gold medal for that. But I'm willing to work with a pair of you. But I'm willing to beat your ass. If, if you want to change the issues that are in this house. I can, I can accept criticism. Good. So let's begin. Oh, boy. Let's get busy and start work, right? Yes. Let's get busy. What should do? OK. Thank you. I'll tell you. This might need a miracle here. We might need a miracle, chat. The first thing that I wanted to tackle was to make... Hey, here she goes. So she always got the most adorable things, right? A little bit dated with the screen, but I'll tell you what. Look at that. A little, la little laptop. Not a lab, little computer screen. Sure. That she always she always got the cutouts ready to go. One parent at all times. So I wanted to get mum and dad together to make a schedule. So the first thing we are going to do... She got that done at FedEx Kinko's. ...is to work out our parental roles. Two parents working. And parental controls. Two parents trying TV could collab to raise a family. Joe and parental Nobody knows control. who's doing yeah, what. Okay. We've got a young infant running around the house. Nobody's taking care of her. How many hours are the three of you just at home? You two and Charlotte. From 8.30 to 11, 12.30. 12. That's four hours. The next question is, how are you going to divide your working hours and take care of this little one? Both parents need to spend the time working out who is going to do what so they find a healthy compromise so they can both be happy doing the jobs that they do and be in sync when it comes to raising their family. So this is what we do. In sync, great band. If you are spending a big amount of time with Charlotte in the morning, okay, after lunch, she would go down and have an afternoon sleep. And then the hour and a half where you are with her, you can multitask. You can set up some proper toys for her to role play with and have fun with, okay? And you can be doing your work at the same time. Have right. we figured this out before? I don't know. The parental roles, I felt was very good. This I is uh, interesting because this is very base level stuff here. This is very, this is very basic stuff that I you would think would be kind of figured out well, by I, now. I but spend time with what's up, Tatum? How you doing? There we go. What's good? What's good? What's up, TV Steph? How are you? Hello, you? hello. <laughs> Jess Martinez, how's it going? <laughs> With a plan in action for Charlotte, the next thing I wanted to deal with was to get this family communicating with one another. And I was going to do something that this family were not going to like. Oh this boy. family have used technology far too long as a babysitter. There's no communication in the house. So I would love to be uh, to address what's in the, the tanks behind them. I'm going to guess that that is maybe a... Is that a turtle? But there's no water. It looks like a kind of like a reptile, maybe like a lizard. I'm guessing maybe some sort of lizard could be in that one. And maybe like a tarantula or something in the other one. Okay, it stops. I'm stripping them of all technology today. Mom, I'll have your Blackberry. Oh, this Boys. is going to be. Uh oh. I'll have your remote. We want to get in tune, right? Let's get in tune. Remote. Okay. Oh, oh, oh here we go. Television off. Thank you. Off. Everything off. You want to get in tune? You can learn to hear each other's voices. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I mean, they couldn't believe this was really going on. Brett and Joseph were running upstairs with anything they could find, hide underneath <laughs> the beds. Right, all downstairs. I really regret that we have uh, allowed technology to just consume everything. I'll tell you what, it just gets worse, Charles. Don't worry. Almost every aspect of our family life. That's a, well, that's a full ass oh. jar. Joe brought in this clear jar where she put my cell phone. I was panicking. I'm like, oh, no way. Is my phone going to stay in there? Today, no technology. Oh my God, relax. All day? She's going to say, I got to work. Really, I want to say I'm going to kill her because my life was right there in a cookie jar, and I couldn't do anything about it. Uh. Oh. Oh, my phone is ringing. I could hear it ringing inside the jar. I can see the phone numbers lighting up, and I could not touch it. Oh my God, I think the mom's got more more issues than any of the kids. The kids are kind of walking around. She's tapping the jar with her fingers, trying to an ex trying to accept a call in a cookie jar. What the? I don't know if this is about the kids as much as the mom. Cell phones like a family member, so when I couldn't. Because if she's acting like this, then of course the kids are. And to hug it. This is ridiculous. Hug it. How long do we have to do this? Did she say? 
I'm not gonna last. See, it's important. It's important. Oh it was all drama in that house, you know. The phone was ringing. Let me let Cooper in. The phone. I need the phone. But I understand what her purpose was to take my concentration off my cell phone and put more on my kids. This family can no longer use technology now, which means that they're going to have to come together and have <sighs> some decent conversation and start having constructive conversations with one another. It seems that there's been a lot of stuff that's been underneath for too long. Do people still have house phones? If you guys in the chat could say, does anybody in this chat have a house phone? Anybody? Anybody? Just let me know. Uh, my dad does at home. We don't have one here. My aunt does. Uh, let me see here. Parents do. No. Customers do. Parents still do. So it seems to be a thing that like 35, 40 and under is a no. But if you're with your parents or someone older, they do. I feel like they just can't get rid of it. Grandma, grandparents used to. No, I'm not 50. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being 50. You have it, but don't answer it. Yeah, you know what's funny is like I actually call my dad on his on the house phone more than like more than I call his cell phone because he always says he can't hear his cell phone because he doesn't understand how he gets it to go on silent. Like, Dad, you've had the same phone for four and a half years. How do you, how are you like an engineer, but you don't know how to flick on the sound button? Truly baffling. My parents did until like a month ago. Hey, there you go, Cage Crow. You know they're they're progressing. Voicemail is full. Did I ever tell you guys a, a the story about how I thought I was gonna when I was younger? It's a funny story. I'll do a quick pause. I went the only time I stole something in my life. I was eleven years old, and I went to a card show, and I took a card. And I was very, I was peer pressured by my friends. I took a card out of a, of, of someone's box and I stole it. It was worth 50 cents, but I, and I was very mad at myself. And I remember we, I came home and I was like, wow, um, I hope like, what if I go to jail? You know, I was 11. I was like, this is the worst thing ever. I hope the cops don't find me, you know, whatever I had. I was super upset about it and I didn't tell anybody. So then we went to the shore on, we went to like the, the beach for two days on vacation we do that a lot when i was younger we have a little trailer had a trailer uh on the east coast and came back and there were seven messages on the answering machine and there's usually only like one or two and my mom was like i remember her going oh my goodness seven messages what the heck happened and i was like oh my god this is it like this is it I'm going to get arrested. This is obviously one of these is going to be the cops or all of them saying that they got me. They caught me, whatever. I'm dead serious. Like, that's why I thought I was 11. I'll let Cooper go. Go ahead, buddy. You're free. You're not arrested. Go ahead. Um, and uh, she played the first one. It was my grandpa. And then all six of the remaining ones were my grandfather. He he kept messing up. The, he would go, hey, Pat, it's me. My mom's name was Pat. I, uh, you know what? I got to hang up. Then he'd go, Pat, it's me. I saw online, not online, but I saw on the news that there was a chemical spill. Uh, where was it? Oh, boom. Huh? So all seven were my grandfather, and I was hiding behind the chair on the other side of the wall, listening to every single message, thinking that one of them was going to be like, hi, this is the police from Cherry Hill Police Department. We have your son here on video stealing a 50-cent card. We'd like to arrest him. Um, and then I remember saying to myself, I will never do that again, ever. That was so scary. And I remember the relief I got after the last one being my grandpa. For the la I was like, wow. Number one, crazy that he left so many more messages. But two, thank God. So you know what? That's the that's why you don't steal. Because when you do, you think you're going to jail. And then when in reality, it's just my my grandpa telling my mom that there was a like an oil spill or something, and he had to tell her in many different ways. But and yeah, that might have been the start of my anxiety. What's funny is I definitely had anxiety at that moment, but I had no idea what it was. Because I was so young, but yeah, so there you go. He listens, and everybody talks over everybody. So today, I'm going to bring the FBI the most wanted. and everybody can have their say. Oh, okay. Why do you let Joseph get his way all the time just because he cries or yes. whines? Another issue of mine is instead of yelling, like when we have more family meetings like this, that's so See, now this guy right instead here, instead of yelling, like when we I have think they said he's 14. He's 14 going on 40. <laughs> he kind of looks like a girl. 
<laughs> like a grown man, he could be the dad. Meetings like this. That soapbox just gave an opportunity. Okay, they're family. they're getting on with the to voice their opinion on how they would with feel the, uh, like everybody else. Conflicts here. I really love for one day for you to be able to say that I was there for you whenever you needed. Okay, and I mean that from the bottom and the depths of my heart. Eric, I'd like you to look at Charles's. Come on, Eric, you got he's, this. There you he's go. Been very truthful and honest here. Sure. Well, I think Charles deserves the respect. Eric, him. don't believe it. I'm telling you, I, I feel like Eric's seen some things. Why not? For years, I have been treated as though I'm just trying to live off of your mother. But what has not been shown to you guys over the years is that uh, I was there helping her do those things, even though I was in the background and the shadows. Joe has definitely opened up my eyes to a lot of things. Okay. Listening to Charles and understanding Charles and um, not trying to be such a boss all the time. I just want to say you've done really, really good tonight. You've done really good. I never really listened until Joe opened up my eyes and, and my ears. I'm yeah. really proud of how well you've done tonight because I know how hard it was for you to swallow. And pause, just be. pause. It is. It's very, very, very composed. It's hard. But it took that. The way she, she does some sexual... I know that it was hard, but you swallowed it and gobbled it down and you, you did it. It's like, okay, Joe, hell yeah. Joe, we're talking about, we're talking about, the, what are we talking about, Joe? The next okay, day, just, okay, we're still talking about the kids, okay. Cool. United, and the kids behaving better, I would have to get Charles and Bernadette. Joe, a freak. Their relationship. I ain't been married. Also, thank you for 881 you. subscribers, guys. I appreciate time. that a lot. Hold on, they just said how long they've been. I was trying to promo, and now they just said vital information. 13 years? I ain't been married. How long? 13 I years. It's a long time. It's a long time. Hmm. Tell me one beautiful thing about this woman that did not make you hesitate to marry her. Her money. <laughs> she was uh, very forgiving. What about yourself? One thing that... Very, very forgiving, Charles. That's the, that means you were fucking up, buddy. Just won me over was the fact that he was a Christian man. Things have changed. There's been bitterness, resentfulness. There's certainly been a detachment. And I think it's important for you both at this stage. Yeah, that's the number one. To really look at the things that you've been <laughs> forgiving. That's yeah, for giving up that money. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Shallow. I thought that said swallow for a second. I was like, Joe, you got to tell us something. You know what I'm saying? Expecting from each other that have been shallow. I'm the on the deep end. Wonders are and diving. Our core. I had mom and dad write in two circles. Raise your mind. I don't know. It's just she. It's core. the way that she's talking today. Joe's really got me going. The outside shallow values were their emotions of how they were feeling right now. And that had blinded the core values of why they met. When I was writing them down, I was like, gee. And I had to look at him like, yeah, you know, this is this is my guy. Okay. Loving, those Christian, understanding. Kind of those are good things. Look at what Love. Companionship, forgiving, family, and then he put a bunch of dollar signs and he put Mr. Krabs, love me money. Wow. For any lurkers out there, that's the truth. I'm not making that up. So that's the five things he wants. Really brought us together. But I thought you start Whoa, they added a lot more. Okay. Wow, look at that. He's got some good handwriting. I can't tell what she said, though. Rudeness. She doesn't like the rudeness. Okay. One of your shallow feelings no money never has any money uh-oh let's have one of yours neglect uh-oh she said he never has any money oh let's see what cooper's up to all right very good cooper thank you very much we appreciate you doing that thank you thank you give me three things out of your core he's honest He's patient, and he has Christian values. She really likes him being a Christian. I'll say that. I feel like she's having a hard time coming up with some good things. Do the same. Companionship, love, and forgiveness. Show each other yours. I got a chance to reflect on, you know, all the things that I really do feel about Charles. You know, it was a time to take all that negativity, kind of bring it back home, like, you know, 
This is why I married him, and these things are still there. Can I ask you both a question? Why are you still married to Bernadette? I'm still married because I still love her, and I think that maybe one day that she'll begin to, to see what, what, right. what the real me. You still love her? Why are you still married to her? I love him. If you love each other, realize that as long as- She says, I love his broke ass. I wish you're going to keep harping on about the outside things here on this shallow circle. That you're never going to grow closer as a couple to start seeing the reasons why you're No, you I feel like they don't. I feel like they don't really love each other. I don't know. I'm not, not who am I to. I just feel like they're. I don't know. I feel a little animosity here, chat. I feel something. I feel something. It didn't. I didn't feel the love, as the Black Eyed Peas said. In the first place. Sometimes we get so busy with so many other things that we don't reflect on those things and it's really made Let's see though we will find out what happens here remember those things all right janie have these a safe uh, ride to your work these a lot to work on What's your marriage basically absolutely this is your marriage on those two discs this yard show me the everybody pool up. what i have here could be that too vicky very sure discs. Next day. Also, you're right. The age gap thing to meet you. That's true because like if he's 58 she's 43 they met 13 they married 13 years ago so let's say let's say they met 15 years ago. She was 28. That would have made him 40, right? So maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just like he's just getting older, you know? If that makes sense. Boys and children. First of all, let's talk about this, okay? I'm clicking this episode. Four brothers get physical all the time. I'm expecting Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury type boxing here. It is. It's been, this is the this is the first ever parent episode. I don't know if the kids are the problem. But if you're live, leaving your daughter on a bed with a tube of cheese and you're just letting everybody else down there do whatever they want, of course they're going to play video games. So I don't know. I don't. This kind of looks like the type of thing you would see at a um, like a water park, by the way. Doesn't that look like a water park sign, chat? Or like if you go to like a Six Flags or a Disney and you're about to go on a log flume. It just looks like the type of thing that would, you know, say like no phones, no shoes, no. I don't know. It just looks, it looks like a theme park sign. Which is unbelievably specific of me to say, but it does. Take out trash, set up for dinner, titty clean, vacuum, and wash up and put away after dinner. Okay, there we go. See, I'm telling you, look at number three. She wrote titty. Right? Clean the titties. That's what she said. So I don't know what the hell that's about. All you lurkers out there, I'm not making it up. She did say that. It's on the screen, number three, titties. Titties in your room, whatever that means. Pause. Clean, clean titties. It is important that you guys are all mucking in and doing things as well. Mucking it's in. It's respectful to be in a house and to make uh -oh. sure that you're uh -oh. taking care of your own quarters. They, they got another bedroom, fish tank too with a real fish well in it. As well as making sure that you help towards keeping this house. You said titty, and I'm well. listening. Yeah, I got all. Hey, I got all the lurkers back. Welcome back. You expecting to see titty on on Super Nanny? No, you weren't. That's why you got to stay in. What's up, Faith? These kids have got lazy itis. Don't like to do a lot of work. Perfect. Each child has the same chore board, and on that chore board are a list of expected chores for them all to do. Every day, I want you to delegate their, their chores. Okay, today your chore will be to make sure you do this and this. Today, I'd like you to do that. They've got the chores, so they know they're going to be asked to do one of those things. Okay. Devante, can, can I see you for a minute? Can you tonight wash the, the dishes? And, and you're going to put them away. OK, would you guys like that? Oh, crazy. You want to wash? I'll put them away. You put them away, OK. Right. OK, once again, the boys, fine to me. That's it, Joseph. That's Looking it. good to me. Love. Right. He wants to help, right? Like. The chore boards are absolutely fantastic. I was very impressed to see that my kids were following the chore charts. It's a good job. And with a little bit of, you know, follow through. I think it's going to work. No little kid time. Billiards. Some older time. So we're going to go and shoot some pool. Now the boys are doing more chores. What I need to... She said, listen, you old ass. We're taking your old ass to play billiards. What, you 60 years old? She's making fun of Charles. Caitlin, let's go. First sub in 27 minutes. Thank you, Caitlin G. 20, 21 months. 21, can you do something for me? I'll do something. I'll do a little FG here. We'll FG that for you. Thank you very much, Caitlin. 
Why is it not? There you go. Focus on is Charles's relationship with his two older stepsons. Charles would like to very much have a friendship with the older boys, so I set up for the three of them to go down to a pool hall and to shoot some pool. Okay, this is good. So the reason why I thought it'd be cool to hang out here today because you've always got the younger ones around and they get enough time just to like hang out together, you know, and do things that are older. Well, this is a. It's excellent. This fucking sucks. I just want him to say, I know he does. He's been very nice. I just want him to say something like that. Just like a cartoon or something. What's up, Is Banana? How you doing? Because I wanted the opportunity for this for a long time. For the three of us to go and to just shoot a few games of pool was, uh, to me, a start toward making things better. When you and Bernadette got married, mm -hmm. you said you said yes to her, but, but you said yes to these two as well, didn't you? I saw Bernadette at, at the time of a single mom, and yeah. I married the whole package of wife and kids. You know, Charles ain't Dang. so bad, you know? Oh, it really feels like it was the mom. I don't want to just throw it on the mom, but it seems like she was the one that was causing I mean, Charles seems pretty cool. But the kids, yeah, they are, what, what's going on with the kids? They, I feel like they hate this man. Money, cash. <coughs> cash money. Cash money. Yeah, trap. Cash money. Okay, there you go. I'm joking. I don't want to hear you crying about Good it. Good start. So what do you guys think? Good start? Yeah. Something as simple as just playing pool. It's a step toward the unity that we should have in our family. He talks like a preacher, just the, the unity, the way he says things. How about dad and the older boys? What's up, Ray? How you doing? I want to pay Anybody else that has joined or is in here, if I haven't said hello to you, go ahead and say what's up. I'll say hi back. I'll look at the chat. Attention to Charlotte having a proper bedtime in her... Charlotte has been going to bed at 3.30 in the morning. Let's change that. Charlotte's diet consists of canned cheese and tuna fish. Yeah, no, I feel like stepfather stuff is definitely... I never had one, but I would. I could see it being weird. I would. I could see it being awkward, you know. Knack, boop, what's up, boop? Thank you for the first time, chat. Appreciate it. Wizard Kaya, how you doing? We got Soph, hello. How's it going? Erica, what's good? Not Noel, what's good? See, there's always some stragglers. Some people chilling. Hey, Ryan, made the last hour of my shift. This made some ass. Wow, let me read that again. You did not say that made your ass, but you said the last hours of shift more bearable. Thank you, Bree. I appreciate you very much. Hello, hello. Hello from Connecticut. I'll tell you what. Any we just watched uh, Kitchen Nightmares this week in there from Connecticut. So thank you for bringing the Connecticut to us. Kareen, how are you? What is good? What is good, Maddie? How are you as well? Who else we got in here? What up? I'm telling you, I have a a bad brain day today. I'm all messed up. What's up, Harley? Your own new bed. What is this? And no spray cheese. And get rid of the damn cheese. Look wow, an actual bed for a two-year-old and not a giant bed for an adult. Who would have thought that she would like it, being that she is two and a baby? This is your bed. I feel like I feel like Charlotte was about to walk away, and the mom was like, come back over here, look. She's like, okay, I'm leaving. She's like, nope, this is your bed. Here, I'll put cheese on it. I'll cover your bed with cheese. Come this back is here. Your bed. We all love Charlotte's bed. <laughs> she looks like a little princess. That was weird it's the way she said that. Very pretty. Is she it? said, we all love Charlotte's bed. We look, the baby Charlotte is on her bed and then, I mean, on the mom's bed and the mom is on Charlotte's bed sleeping, like all curled up. She's like, I wasn't kidding when I said that I loved Charlotte's bed. So I gave Charlotte mine and I took hers. Isn't this pretty? <laughs> We're going to set up the bedtime routine where... I'm gonna place her into this bed. Oh, the girls! Look at look how nice the girl. She's she looks very happy and, and calm. We're going to walk out of the bedroom. I kind of felt that Joe really was there for me. She was just very understanding about me not really understanding how to put my two-year-old to bed, and she really honestly wanted to help me. See the people being blown there away. There you go. Look at this. It was sweet to watch mum tuck Charlotte into her new bed and read her stories. I just hope that this family keep up the hard work whilst I'm gone. There is lots of work to do. <laughs> I'm away for several days. I want to see two parents. Who are so I'm saying she didn't know how to establish a bedtime after five kids. That's where I'm like, that's a little, days, that's a little scary, I, I think. But I don't know. 
myself. I don't know. Maybe not. To raise my kids and to be the wife that my husband wants me to be. You guys want to say thank you, Joe? Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Two seconds after she walked to the door, I went and got my cell phone. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) She is obsessed, bro. She is obsessed. Emmy, how you doing? After three days on their own, let's hope that the Browning family have really pulled And look at that together. neighborhood, though. Jesus. They're in a cul-de-sac, not three a lot of traffic, some big trees. They rich. And let's hope that the Browning family have really pulled things together. All right. Let's, let's see what happens. What we're going to do... Jay, how are you? Charles, let's take a look at the first clip here, which is all about family time. Let's take a look. Charles, come on. It's movie time. Joe, come on. Join the family. Bubba's, hurry up. <laughs> oh, Charles not happy. Uh oh, here we go, chat. That's our family time. I try. You want to climb under the table? Damn, she's on the phone right now. What could you have done to have more fun on your family time? If you ask them what they want to do, then it, it usually goes reverse back to sitting with the video games and playing video games alone. It's the 21st. I will say that Charles does seem the type of guy that's like, those video games are the devil. Whatever that Fortnite is, they should be banned because they say that they're Satan in Fortnite. It's the devil. You ever see them streamers? Century, baby. I could see him being that guy now. Like yeah, he just seems like that. Right. Television. Right. It has been convenient. Thank you for watching that. I appreciate you saying that. For the pair of you to have your children watch television and play on the video games, that they need convincing. Just suggesting is not enough. I mean, it's sad more than anything. I don't know if they're. Ba- I feel like there's no progress. The mom looks mad again. I don't know. You know, I can be a little negative, but I don't know. I just don't see the. Uh, I don't know. She just looks mad. Like, just her eyes, the way she looks right now, she just looks mad. You guys have been robbed of enjoying the time that you could be having with them and really enjoying parenthood. She looks over it, man. Go upstairs and bring me a diaper. But what's daddy changing? Is she wet? She's saying her teeth. That must mean she's wet. Yep, seems like she's been wet for some time. A teeth to her means change me. It's baby language. She was just trying to explain to her dad because she was wet. But he says he's going to wait till a commercial. And there's no commercials on a DVD, but so that means... Called out. So she was wet for a couple of hours. I was. So they didn't change her diaper for two to three hours. That is um very bizarre. And she asked her daughter to get the diaper, which is also even weird, more weird because she's two. I can't stress that enough. She is two years old. Why is she getting the diaper? What is going on with this family? Why are they not changing their daughter? Who is two? <laughs> like, what? What? That's just weird. I was trying to not not interrupt my time with the kids. I was trying to have family time until Charles Hagel changed. I, I wasn't trying to interrupt the family time. I'd rather my daughter just, you know, soil herself in her diaper and let it go than go upstairs and grab one, you know, yeah, like... Yeah. I don't I know about that one. I don't know what that one, Bernadette. Making those, those jokes. I don't know about I that one. I cooked something, and I just sat down and catch my breath, and she tells me to go run up and change a diaper. Well, you know. You didn't cook. We had well, pizza. Well, whatever Uh-oh. it was. And Uh-oh. I went out and got- See, di- chat, do they not like each other? Am I, out of, am I out of line here? Do they? I don't know, man. They just are blaming each other constantly. She's, I don't know. I don't feel the love, man. I don't feel the love, dude. Got the pizza and and something else. I haven't seen. I don't an feel the love here. I don't feel. I haven't seen a single moment. Or a hundred percent commitment from one another. God, we are. We have. We have seven minutes left. This is like kitchen nightmares, where we're just. This may not go great. Together with this. I know that I'm committed, but I, I can only speak for myself. And oh that's where boy. The problem lies because I'm oh, not boy. sure what degree that Bernadette is committed to the same uh, thing and that's, uh, oh. that's probably where the problem lies. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Oh hell no. I feel like the wrath of Bernadette is about to touch down, chat. Oh man, I know that look, and that's not the Nicki Minaj like, once you give me that look and then give me that look and then, no, this is the opposite. That's the what the hell did you just say? Oh my god. Oh my boy. She got to squint through the glasses. All right, here we go. Joe's hair does look great, Thomas. That's a good point. It's not saying that she won't. I'm not trying to put her down. I'm just yes. Oh, boy. I can feel it. It hasn't been communicated yet. Let's take a look at the last but not least clip here. Oh, man. It's all about armchair parenting. Oh. It's be me. Joseph! Get down here now! <laughs> Sit down. You gotta be next to me. She hasn't got off the come chair go. yet. Go back up to your room and spend another 15 minutes. See ya. Not that not the me. chair going back up. The footrest. Turn it off. Now. Well, if you ever give up your day. She gotta feel embarrassed from that, bro. She looked like three hours of her just sitting in the chair yelling. Good job. There will be a job at San Quentin prison, that's for sure. God damn. God damn. Hold on. They'll... What, if you ever give up your day job, there will be a job at San Quentin prison, that's for sure. Damn, Joe, with the with the prison joke. Whoa, I don't know. Joe has had it up to here. My God. That is not... That was unexpected. <laughs> oh, my God. Joe has had... Joe has had enough. She said, you take your ass to jail. Exactly, Christy. They're acting like this while being filmed. Imagine what they're not doing when they're not filmed, right? When they're when the cameras are off, what is this family doing? I don't even, I don't know, man. I don't know. There's some, some weird shit. This is Joe at her most fierce, and I like it. And the dad knows that it's about to be a real problem. He laughed at that one. He but this is a prison here. I mean, you know, oh my these God. kids are not listening. These she kids took the joke well, at least. Me to be the ward. Yeah, call Let's child services. Up. What's up, Ariana? There's, there's no side of Bernadette that we know is deep down in there somewhere. It's very well said that these kids need to listen and do as they're told. But they, I don't see no balance. Positive oh. attitude creates an energy in a house that allows successful results. Today, what we're gonna work on is having some fun. It's about muscling through the, I don't wanna do this. When they see you doing it, they're like, okay, well, we'll give it a go. We'll try. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Right. Yeah, I agree, again. California. Your home should not be a prison. You you calling your home a prison. Uh, well, this home is a prison. Red flag, your home should be your safe place, your sanctuary, right? I mean, like, I feel like the home should be the place to get away from the prison. The, the mental prison and stuff. So, woo. Here we go. We need we need something. The DVD clearly shows me that this family still need working on. And Dad's a pastor, so I asked him to prepare a... Now, I may be hungry, Chet. But she, did she just say Dad is a, past, a pasta? Because I was just thinking about a little bit of tornellini, and I'll tell you what. She's now calling Charles a pasta. Now they still need working on, and that's a pasta. I mean, let's be let's be let's be honest here, okay? She said pasta. The DVD clearly shows. Right, let's hear it. Me that his family still need working on, and that's a pasta. So no wonder Charles is not getting anything done. He is a noodle chat, and you can't really do that much when you are made of egg and whatever else noodles are made out of which would be obviously other things like f more eggs flour obviously flour and water obviously so i asked him to prepare a i don't know I've never, who, who makes pasta i don't salt sermon that would allow him to speak from his heart now she said sermon or did she say salmon we'll go and listen to it outside on the Front lawn. He's now. a pasta pastor. I had to preach directly to my family. Guys, come on, we're gonna go out, right? We'll have church. 
I thought it was an uh, interesting twist. Okay. The oh. text I'm using is from a book that's in the poetic. I know they're going to make like this worked. I feel like the kids probably don't give a shit, but let's find out. Books in the Bible called the Song of Solomon. They have made me the keeper of vineyards, but mine own vineyard have I not kept. First of all, I like to just take the first three words. They have made me. God has made me a, a husband. The scriptures tell us that what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. So God is the one that... They're not showing the kids because the kids are moving around. As I look yep. back and look at our experience. <laughs> this kid is not... They can play the sad music or whatever. The happy. This kid don't care. Experience is old last week or so. I see that I've been very negligent and uh, very slack and, and lackadaisical in, in, in those areas. It was really poignant to hear Charles talking about wanting to become a better father, a better husband, so that he could take care of I just don't think the kids give a crap, God. chat. These Seriously. These the vineyards that I've kept, uh, and I look at them in relationship to my own vineyard. My own vineyard have I not kept. I was touched because finally... Oh, yeah, she looks so touched. <laughs> She's moved, chat. She's moved to tears. This man is, you know, reaching out to us through a sermon. I've not kept... Many promises that I've made to... Yeah, I'll be watching more Dance Moms this week. Which is, uh, I, I'm seeing that's adverse. These kids don't understand a thing he's saying. I agree. I've not kept an open lines of communication. Yeah. It was deep. <laughs> uh, I'm determined to do better in the future. I do feel that uh, I need to strive to keep all of those hats and all of those responsibilities in, in some type of balance. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the kids on the end here. Okay, he he's like in a go kart simulator. They're button. He's in the passenger. I don't think they could repeat you one single word he just said. I must say, I was really impressed. Truly, not one. I really was. Yeah. So I am really hoping that. Okay. Charles if that was will it, lead a very good example that to was his it. sons and his daughters. I didn't realize some of that. See here. Until you read it. The sermon definitely brought mum and dad closer together. Okay, and whatever they say, right? Really whatever. That mum's fun, love inside, so this family could do something together and have a lot of fun. So we are going to play a knockout game right now. Okay. A knockout game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to box each and every one of you until you get knocked out on the floor, and then I'm going to leave this forgiven family. Because you're all doomed, okay? That's what she wants to say. Okay, which takes two teams. The whole idea of this exercise was to get the family to loosen up. Get the family to beat each other fun, up. Not escape from one another. One member of the family on each team have to complete this puzzle. This puzzle will lead you to What's the this next reality step. house. The losing team gets pied. On your marks. Get set, go! Oh my God. Now, once again, let's. I'm looking at the kids every time here, right? Okay. Charles locked in. It was Devonte, Eric, whatever? He don't give a damn. He don't give a damn. The middle piece inside the middle piece. Where? Okay, there they go. They made him come out. After the puzzle, both teams had to. Charles really moving out there. And use a water squirting gun to reveal a message. You've got to spray up. Wow, look at that. Come on, Angel. Come on, Brett. Go, Joe. Go to front yard. Keep going, keep going, keep up, Brett. Keep up, Brett. Moving into the last leg of the game, it really was neck and neck. Whatever piece of paper says the winner is the winner, and the rest get pied. Got it. <laughs> look at that. Look at, that. <laughs> look at the carrot across the street. <laughs> you did it. Watch it. What the hell is going on over there? That crazy family. Bill? They're doing that they're doing that weird shit again out there, Bill. I can barely see them. The sun is killing me today. What's with the sun out here? Like Yeah, like some type of some type of TV crap out there. Who do they think they are? Film and TV. Who cares about the brownings? Bill, let's go get your medication, Bill. I'm over it. I already know she's 70 because of the jeans. I could just tell where the jeans lay on the ankles there. Well, Cooper also agrees. Let's see what else, what else Cooper has to say. 
Cooper says yes. She's nosy. Anything else? And? Okay, he's... He's waiting. Oh. Oh, he said she's a bitch. Wow. Cooper, what the hell? You don't even know her, dude. Yeah, those jeans are definitely stiff, Jackie. That's true. Those are je those are stiff jeans. Okay. Line up. It was Eric who found the label. All right, Which Coop. All right. All right. Brett and Devante were up for a pie in the face. See, now you guys are making fun of me with the food, and here comes Joe bringing pie. Not my fault. God. Whoa. Hold on. In our face. I mean, literally in our face. Charles has been waiting to do that. He didn't just do a little thing. He went, mm, mm, mm. look at that. Hold on. Charles has been waiting for this one. For a pie in the face. He said, babe, are you sure? Are you sure, babe? <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to rewind it again. I want everyone to watch how hard he hit this this lady with this pie and smashed it. First of all, that is a ridiculous image. But look at the force here from Charles. <laughs> I mean, he went in and then takes the, the crust... The pan and goes. <laughs> Look at this man. <laughs> He's been waiting to do that for several I years. I mean, literally in our face like this. Hey man, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it just showed that both parents were willing to. The only thing I think about is, man, who the hell has to clean up all this damn whipped cream now, though? They you know, like that sucks. It's around to this level, which I was really pleased to see. I can't believe that we did this. <laughs> we would have never thought of it. It's about loosening up. She's bleeding. Can you imagine her nose is bleeding? I think that it was an excellent way to end. All, all it took time. for us to get closer as a family was for us to start beating the shit out of each other. I'm with Joe. I'm, I'm going to leave Charles alone. He's been fine. That was his moment. Yeah, that was his, that was his spot. He probably at night would go, Ugh, just wait. Ugh. Okay. And then if, she, if I ever get a chance to pop, I'll go, Ugh, and I'm going to turn it. And go, Ugh. He was probably, you know, in the damn... Jim, like he's Alex Wasabi training for a fight, ready for that. Give me a hug because I am going now. Huh? I leave the brownie. They love the steps, man. Knowing, the steps is like the thing with this going family. To think about what they've been taught over the last two weeks. Look, I just want to say to all of you as a family that the key is having a laugh, loosening. I have to say, as a family, you're all fucked. Communicating, listening with one another. And I just hope that they make those decisions that enhance their family quality life together. Thank you. Bye bye. The thing that has changed the most is the willingness to pursue a better course. Bye -bye. I just want to keep making fun a little bit. It's now time for me to pick up the pieces and put the puzzle together. Bye bye. All Come right. I'm going to say, Joe, thank you. I want to tell you that I am going to follow through. I am not going to be lazy. I'm not going to be an armchair parent. And I'm going to do my best for my kids. Do you believe it, Chad, or do you not? I want to see. All right. I don't believe it. I'm not going to lie. I hate to be that guy. Okay. I don't think one pie to the face and a video game tactic is going to fix this family. I think that they're doomed. I'm going to be honest. Okay, I've watched probably 20 episodes of this show. I think I got a decent idea of when things are going well. I don't believe that that family was fixed by this. Because I don't think it was the kids at all. I think it was the parents. This was the first ever real parent episode versus the kids being the problem. Yeah, betting on divorce. Sadly, I would not probably lean with that. I, I hope not for the kids' sake, but I mean... Well, let's see what let's let's read some comments and see what the comments has to say. This show is for more the more for the parents than the kids. Okay. I feel so badly for Charlotte sitting there on not understanding spray cheese. <laughs> this poor this poor girl just a big old can of cheese. Okay, everybody's agreeing with us here. Imagine after Joe leaves they go back to their normal lives. Yes, because that's for sure. Wait, oh Lana has an update. The update okay. Let's see here. The update is that this family did not want this episode to continue to air. They refused to change, and the mother made a death threat to Joe. What? 
The update is that this family did not want this episode to continue to air. They refused to, to change, and their mother made a death threat to Jill. That is... Way, way worse than I expected to read. What in the hell? Wow. Okay. Well, did not expect death threat in there. Uh, let me just quickly say thank you to Miggy. Uh, thank you, my friend, for the three months. Jeez, Alana, you hit me with a crazy one. You can, if anyone who makes a death threat to Joe, that's a death threat to society because we will fight. Okay. And by we, I mean at least me and a couple others in this chat. We will fight for Joe. Damn, there's something with this family chat. I don't know. I could I could feel the vibes. You know, the vibes were a little off with this one. Uh, it was just a lot of anxiety, a lot of awkwardness. I don't know, man. I didn't like that at all. I did not like that at all. <laughs> 